All right, so I just got done watching the VGAs. I mean, I mean, uh, VGXs, and um, honestly, I was underwhelmed. What I mean to say about that is, um, usually with like big award shows, you have it, you know, actually be big, like a big stadium seating with people in the audience and all that, and. This year, they just decided to go a live streaming and just have uh, Jeff Rubin and the other guy, can't remember his name, uh, just announce the awards and interview people. And that's fine for like an after thing for award shows, but for that to be the award show was really underwhelming. Um, I mean, when you watch like the Emmys and the Grammys and. Uh, even the Tonys, um, it's all, it's always something big, something big, and, uh, as the guys would say during the show, bombastic, and that was the most used term during the whole show was bombastic, I, I can't even remember how many times I heard that word, uh, but, um, but, but let's get on to the, uh, games themselves, um, it was, it was, they had good games for, like, uh, premieres, like, uh, No Man's Sky, uh, an indie game was by far one of the most interesting. Um, but then the fact that it's being done by four gay, four guys, sorry, I, I meant to say, I almost said four games, but I meant to say four, four guys. Uh, wow. Um, they must, they must get like an hour of sleep each night for them to be doing it with just four guys. Cause that's, that's a lot of work from the looks of it. I mean, it's, I'm not really into those type of games. I'm not really into those, like, shooter games, like Star Fox and stuff, so I'm probably going to stay away from that. Uh, sorry about my bias on that, but, yeah. Um, then there was Deadlight, or was it Deadlight or Dead Rise? Or I, 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 I didn't really hear the name too well, but that looked pretty interesting. I, I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of the zombie genre, but I guess that pulled me in a little bit because of the whole parkour aspect with it. But, um, yeah, so that was interesting. Uh, it was interesting to see PewDiePie, PewDiePie, uh, whatever his name is, the most number one YouTube subscribed uh, channel right now. Right now. <coughs> subscribe. <coughs> subscribe. But, um, yeah, that was interesting. Um, then there was uh, all the other game from, well, they showed more of, like, Destiny, which looks really good. I, I am excited for Destiny. Unless they pull a Bethesda and make it 15 bucks a month. In which case... Wipe my hands off it. Uh, but, uh, but... But let's get on to the, like, the interviews. The interviews were really kind of underwhelming. Um, there was a stuff with Nintendo and... Uh, uh, well, well, the guy who was in charge of the American division of Nintendo. I can't remember his name. But he, he says that the Wii U is selling bro well. And I was like... <coughs> Wii U is selling well. Yeah. Yep, yeah, my ass. Uh, in fact, I actually said that on Twitter. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. But um, I, it was pretty underwhelming. I mean, uh, there was more on Titanfall, which does look interesting, but I'm not going to get the game. Sorry, I make it a, a thing for me not to buy an EA game after all the crap they've done to gamers. So I boycott EA games in general. Yes, I haven't played the Mass Effect series, I'm sorry, but I just, I can't play anything by EA. I do not trust and hold my best interest at heart. But, there was a stuff with, um, oh, yeah, and Jeff Rubin with the other guy, how they took kind of a shit on indie developers with that two buck comment, and yeah, and leave, leave it to the guys who are paid, pretty much paid by the big developers to showcase how good their games are. I mean, look, that whole controversy last year with the VMAs, I mean, um, GMAs, whatever they were called, the Game Media Awards, how they were pretty much bribed to talk good shit about the companies and shit, and how they're picked by publishers, and yeah, so I I wasn't that surprised to hear them take a shit on the on the indie developers, and um, what else? Uh, he, more on Witcher. I haven't played the Witcher games. Sorry, not big. So yeah, I know you're probably going. Oh, X out, X out, crack out. Uh, but I'm I'm just not in this and and then they showcased uh, Game of Thrones another Game of Thrones game Game of Thrones game I've only just gotten into the series I've only like 
I've just started third season, so I can't really weigh in. I heard how bad the first game sucked. Not No surprise there, considering it's a TV game. So, yeah, that's not surprising at all. But, um... Well, well, Walking Dead was pretty damn good, so I guess there should be a surprise there. Uh, Thief. Never played the original Thief games. Can't weigh in there. Um, they show how uh, Tomb Raider was is going to be released on the PS4 and uh, and uh, Xbox One, which which I'm glad about. I, I want another good big title game to play on my PlayStation 4 because this baby's not getting a lot of use other than Black Light, DC, and Knack. I know, uh, launch game, launch console, get what you get, uh, but, um, you could probably take a shot before all the times I say, uh, yeah, it, and one of the th excuses I saw, I, that was heard throughout the v VGXs was, uh, that they could swear, which is one of the reasons they live streamed it only. And they hardly swore throughout the entire thing until it got up to that um, GTA V rap thing, which was pretty much, fuck, shit, cock, fuck, shit, dick. It was pretty much just random swearing. It wasn't really my kind of rap. I like, like, good rap like Macklemore. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's bad. If you like it, you like it. I, I just couldn't get into it. But... <laughs> and, and that whole thing... And I, I, and I suspect the reason why... Like, I didn't know these were going to be just live stream only. Like, I went on my, I went on to my cable box, because, yeah, I have cable where I am. I went on Spike, and the only thing that was on Spike was Cops. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was searching, I was going, okay, did they put it on a different channel or something? And it, it, this was like four minutes past six o'clock until I finally found on, like, uh, Polygon that was going to be live stream only. And I was like, fuck! So I went on... Uh, Twitch and I put that on and it, it would have been a lot easier if it was just TV and both if they could do both TV and live stream but um, I suspect Spike doesn't really trust the VGXs to be successful I'm not saying they're not successful but I just I, I can see that their priority for their stuff isn't on the VGA. Sorry, VGXs. I, I can't get over that name change. It makes no fucking sense to me. It just sounds like they're trying to pull an MTV and make... Well, it's Spike TV, so that makes sense. To make it sound extreme. The VOK Awards extreme, so VGXs. Yeah. Extreme! What is this, the early 2000s with, like, Triple X and that other James Bond movie that sucked when I was dying on the day? But, um... But, um... But, um... Sorry, random thing. <sighs> It was really underwhelming. I mean, there was more on Disney, Witcher, Game of Thrones. Uh, uh, yeah, um, Titanfall. Oh, yeah, and for the awards. I call bullshit on Game of the Year award for Ga Grand Theft Auto V. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a bad game. So, I'm pulling up my flame shield right now to make sure... Yeah, no hatred there. I'm not saying Grand Theft Auto V is a bad game. I'm just saying I think Last of Us, Tomb Raider, and Bioshock Infinite probably deserved it a lot more. Because I, I think they were judging that by sales numbers, not really on quality game. So, which is too surprising. And then there was uh, Best Developer, and that was Naughty Dog, which I saw coming a mile away, considering their history with good franchises like Uncharted and now Last of Us and so there wasn't too much of a surprise right there <laughs> saw that one coming um I was glad to see Bioshock uh win the award for best shooter I would have preferred best ga uh, game of the year but um I'm glad they won something because that that's pretty much one of my favorite games of the year is uh Bioshock Infinite B uh, bar none. <laughs> I'm actually going to lend it to a friend of mine in a couple of days so he can get a part of the experience because he was voting for Battlefield 4 and sorry, I'm not into, I'm not big into multiplayer shooters that much anymore. I pretty much just play him for socializing with my friends. And then there was Best Characters which was the ah, how could I forget their fucking names? It was the Lud, the, the, Lu, the Lug Twins, whatever they're called. From Bioshock Infinite, which were pretty entertaining, but I, I was surprised it wasn't Booker or Elizabeth as the characters. So that 
I didn't I didn't understand why they were the pick for characters from Bioshock, but uh, whatever. At least it was from Bioshock. Um, but yeah, pretty underwhelming. Oh yeah, there was also Stick of Truth, the South Park game. I I'm looking forward to Stick of Tr to Stick of Truth because unlike like the past South Park games from like the N sixty four and original PlayStation, um, which were completely another shit really. Uh, Stick of Truth looks like, it looks pretty good. It actually looks like a good, like, mix of RPG with comedy. I mean, it looks like you're actually part of the show. The way the, and that just, just shows how, uh, how, uh, unique an animation South Park has. That it can be integrated into video games and still come off as it, it being part of the show. So that, that really showed with that. And I'm looking forward to this, especially after that three-part episode for Black Friday, which... <laughs> best three part uh well maybe not best but <laughs> you get what i'm saying uh so it was good to see those guys on there and hopefully hopefully for the love of god south park guys don't delay it again i mean we've only got it we've already got to delay three fucking times Ugh. i mean thq it's understandable they closed down they went bankrupt but two more times after that Oh my god. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, very underwhelming awards show. Hopefully, by next year, when the VGX, the name VGX really comes more, becomes more of a common name for video game awards, it will have a bigger budget. And, and I really didn't enjoy the host for the show. Jeff Rubin and the other guy. I, I don't really like those two, especially with Jeff Rubin after that whole controversy. And just, I'm not a big fan of celebrities per se, but I, I, when it comes to like Samuel L. Jackson and Jack Black, you can see they love video games. So they, they, they're the perfect people to host these type of events. So I'm, I'm saying get us not really a, a well-known celebrity, but maybe a well-known celebrity as long as they're passionate for gaming. That's the key. It's a gaming award show, so passionate gamer to host. Uh, but, oh, and the sketches. The sketches by Smosh and that other guy, <laughs> they, they were pretty funny. I, I, liked, I laughed so hard at those, but... Yeah, underwhelming. And Oh, and that shot on E3 he made. He, like, uh, what was it, Jeff Rubin said E3 was just a blip this year. E3's the biggest fucking game thing around during the year. I mean, VGXs or VGAs, whatever, whatever the fuck it is. They, they, bleh. I, I prefer E3. If I was to go to any of the things for gaming this year, it would be E3. But yeah, very underwhelming award show. So I'm not gonna ramble on any more than that. I've already rambled on enough. But uh, do better next time, Spike. Don't disappoint. This is Riley Personal Miller, signing off.